Hello there. Today we are taking a look at my viewers 1v1s and I will do my best to give useful feedback on what I see. And no, I'm not going to roast people. A lot of people think I'm going to roast people, but no, I'm I'm going to try my best to give good feedback uh on on the 1v1s. So don't expect me to you know, be mean to people. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try my best to give useful feedback. So, tell me if if you like if you like this kind of video style, we can do this like weekly. We can do this once every month or something. So, make sure if like to tell me if you like it, and most importantly, tell me if it actually helped you. Because that is the purpose of this, is that it actually helps people. So without, and for disclaimer, this is not about Nabushi only. Like, we're starting with a Nabushi video, but I got a lot of, I got a lot of clips, and they're not all Nabushi, so this is not going to be a Nabushi exclusive. Even though I have the most inside on Nabushi, obviously, and map ma matchup knowledge but um yeah this is not pure nabushi we have some pk and other stuff in there as well all right let's jump into it we have in our first fight we do have a nabushi versus valkyrie and i did watch most of the clips already and i made a video that went 50 minutes and Afterwards, I watched it back and I felt like if I just do it again, I can I can do it way faster and way better. So, he's playing against the Valk. And he doesn't really know how to play against the Valk, he told me. So, after watching it several times. First of all, I'm not going to I'm going I'm not going to be nitpicky about parries because I don't know if this is console, I don't know if this is PC and like there are many factors that determine how well you can parry stuff like sometimes people have really high ping or sometimes they're on console and they have high ping so i'm not going to be nit nitpicking parries obviously if you get light spammed and you lose well that is most likely why you lost because you just got hit by 20 light attacks in a row but for this matchup first of all i can tell you that the valkyrie Oh yeah, left dodge and back dodge, they just don't work on sweep. But she fainted one one heavy into a guard break. And what I like to do at the start at the start of the as soon as I know okay he's he's shield bashing with Valkyrie, I do a sidewinder. Because for once it eliminates it eliminates two options for the Valkyrie. It eliminates her going for the shield bash and it eliminates her fainting her heavy into a guard break you will counter both of these options the only option that you don't counter is her fainting the heavy into nothing waiting for your sidewinder but in this video he never does a sidewinder against her heavy faint never so obviously she never stops shield bashing and i'm not saying always sidewinder on heavy parries uh, on heavy faints on valkyrie I'm saying Sidewinder once, and then you will notice, oh, like she she's going to stop shield bashing all the time because she's going to be scared of you Sidewindering. Second of all in this clip is that the Valkyrie is not doing anything defensively. She never parries any attack, and she hardly blocks some light attacks. So that would be... That's the second tip, and that when you noticed when you notice that people don't have a good defense because a lot of newer players um, they learn the game, and the game used to be very def defensive sided, and especially if you played characters that had a defensive playstyle, you learned how to parry, how to like play more defensively. Um, but nowadays, the game is way more aggressive. It's way more mashing buttons actually wins you the game. 
with certain characters. And you can see on this person, on the Valkyrie he's fighting, she's, she's never trying to parry anything or to really do anything defensively. She's only... She's constantly on the offense. And whenever he's attacking, like in the second clip, whenever he's attacking, like she's just... She's even blocking the dodge attacks. Um, and here's where the first the first tip comes also into play because if she realizes oh i can't just shield bash or i can't just uh, heavy faint into guard break because there's the sidewinder you have more time to attack her because then she starts fainting heavies into nothing and then she's gonna wait and then it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a moment until she attacks again which gives you more time to go into hidden stance like to do light attack stuff, hidden stance, to do hidden stance, heavy feint, wait for her dot attack, to do one light out of hidden stance, to then kick if she dodges. So yeah, the Valkyrie is, she's not very, uh, not very good at her defense. And I know a lot of players that are like that, because the game allows you to, do, to have that playstyle. So that is, that is the first one. To sum it up, Real quick, um, against Valkyries, Sidewinder, Sidewinder on heavy, on heavy feints, to eliminate the options and to put the fear in her in her mind that oh, I I can't just you know, um, shield bash for free like she does over and over here in this video. And second of all, that allows you to go more on the offense and you can tell that she's not very good at defense so all right that is the first one second one we can take oh this is a good one this is a good one so he's playing pk against the nabushi and in this one look for the nabushi how she goes for the defense she's constantly trying to light parry constantly like she's even trying she's always trying to even parry the second light even this one even after he heavy fainted into a light attack she always tries to light faint but sadly um our pk friend here is not heavy fainting enough especially not the first especially not you see how she went she she missed the parry she missed the parry and then she went for the second light as well so he needs he needs to start fainting normal heavies into guard break or let heavies fly. Letting heavies fly is way less stamina as well. And then he trades. Yeah. So you can in the first round, usually if I lose the first round, uh I I don't really care because in the first round sometimes sometimes people have a very aggressive different playstyle that then that then you're used to. And then you use the first round to analyze your opponent. And then in the next rounds, you kind of know her their, their playstyle. For example, she just she goes for every parry imaginable, which is funny. And when people bleeding when, when people are bleeding with PK and you land the, the light attack on their guard, go for the second one. And here he dodged too early. He dodged, like, slightly too early. She goes into Hidden Sense, and he immediately dodged out of it. Um, but you should wait until, like, you see an indicator. Before your dodge attack. Oh, yeah. N n never do that. Never. <laughs> never do that. He actually trades with her here. But, like... The reason why you never do the combo light, uh, the combo heavy from top with PK is because it is you can option select it, and there's nothing the PK can do. Like there's 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 nothing the PK can do if she if she lets it go the top heavy, you option select it, you punish her. If she dagger cancels it, it's the same timing as the heavy. You parry it, you punish her. If she feints it into a guard break, you option select and you punish her. The only... And I don't think she's fast enough to cancel it 
and then pair your options select. Depends on how fast your your option select is. For those of you who don't know what option selecting is, because people keep asking me, it's basically doing anything else than just going for the parry normally. Like you can press zone, so you see an indicator coming at you, but you don't press heavy. You press zone, for example, so that when he feints his attack into a guard break, you will zone and punish his guard break because he can guard break you out of your heavy, but he can't guard break you out of your zone. For example, Nabushi has two option selects. She used to have three, which was very OP, but now she has two because now you can either normally zone or you can walk backwards and zone, which will do a Vipus retreat. Yeah, it's, for example, for example, a deflect is kind of an option select because you see an indicator and instead of parrying it, you go for the deflect, you know? So then he needs, then he thinks, okay. And then you also have, you can also zone. For example, if you play a Rochi and you see an indicator, like somebody, you, you faint and heavy against the Rochi. What's he going to do? He can parry it. He can option select it with his zone. He can deflect it. He can dodge attack. And then what do you do? Same goes for, for Kong. Or oh, don't even get me started on, on Valkyrie. Like with Valkyrie, she can she can zone it. She can, um, she can go for it as a normal heavy. She can do the heavy into shield bash. She can do the superior light. She can deflect. She can dodge attack. There's a lot of... She can back dodge into a full guard. There's a lot of stuff characters can do other than going normally for a parry, and that is a option select. So yeah, that is why you don't do the the heavy chain finisher from top on PK. But yeah. In, in this specific situation where people like to go for light parries because she keeps going for light parries, the Nabushi. I would commit to heavy stacks. That was a good dodge attack. She didn't expect it. She went for the light parry again. He takes the heavy so he doesn't run out of stamina. Like he, that round went pretty smooth smooth for, for the PK because it's everything for the Nabushi just went wrong. And you can see how he dagger cancels. Which is, which is good. Dagger Cancel is good. It does some damage. It's not as much as a heavy. It's... it's... Against, against a character that has no out of stamp pressure, I would commit to heavies. Because if she parries the heavy, she gets less damage than if she parries the Dagger Cancel. And... But against characters that have good out of stamp on, uh, pressure, like any bashing character or Jormungandr, you can make an argument that you want to do the dagger cancel because you lose less stamina for light parries, for being light parry than for being heavy parry. Because if you do a heavy and he buries it, like you're basically out of stamina, which is going to change. But, but yeah, he's still lighting and she's still going for the second lights. She even goes for the top, which is also odd. Um, but yeah. She even does the roll. And she actually baits his um, his jump attack, which is odd. But he still goes for light attacks, which is um, unfortunate. But doesn't dodge the kick twice. Doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't pre-dodge, which is good. But I think he just doesn't dodge in general. And then that was just some... I think I would have done the same, to be honest. Like, I would have done the same here. Like, usually, usually they're out of stam, they back dodge, they try to get away from you, and then I would have done the same. That's, that's okay. There's, it's rare that people actually go for those out of stam light attacks, because they're very dangerous. They're not as dangerous against the PK because she doesn't have an ins insane, an insane like out of stem, fall to the ground punish. So very fast, doesn't touch the kick, 
but Nobu doesn't get any good punish. He goes for the light. The Wushi still is always light parrying. Even those again. Could have done a heavy there, but... Oh yeah, he actually dodged the kick here. Against the Nobushi. So Nobushi's chain is either light, heavy, 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 or light, light, light. So whenever... Whenever Nabushi, whenever you see the second light, after the, after the second light, she can either do nothing or another light. So if she light attacks twice, if a Nabushi light attacks you twice, the third one has to be a light attack. So you can parry this one and be safe. Like this is 100% a safe parry because there's nothing else you can do. Still goes for the lights. Nobu still doesn't give a crap about the, the second lights. He just wants to parry the second lights. He's... It, it was That was dangerous. Like, the back dodge was dangerous. The front dash was, like, just... He, he's, he, he's, he gets really impatient here. Um, instead of... Instead of walking forward and just waiting, he gets impatient and... He jumps forward, which is a free parry for the Nobu, and then also here he da he tries to like feint on range against the Nobushi, which is also not the smartest thing. And then the Nobu does something really stupid, because the only thing the PK can do here really is to jump attack, because his health, health is so low. But the Nobu thought, hey, let's roll away. While well, she's in the air already, so yeah. All right, let's let's sum this up. The opponent is obviously going for only lights, so commit to some heavies, especially against the Nabushi, because you are in no danger when you auto stem. Like there's nothing the Noble can do besides heavy attacking you for chip damage, which is terrible. So. When you see an opponent go for only light parries, then stop doing lights. Which is sounds pretty obvious when I when I say it. So this one's also an interesting thing. It's a Nobu again against a Zerker. And because I know what what what's what's gonna happen, um in my original video, I actually I predicted it when the Zerker did it the first the, the second time, which is funny. Like look, watch how he opens. Top heavy, top light, unblockable. And then he just kills himself with a dodge attack, which is fine. He actually parries the Viper's Retreat, which was nice. And then he does a lot of, like, that's the typical Zerker thing. You faint your heavy, you switch your guard, and then you delay light. Look, see how he, how he switches his guard? Oh god. So he gets the heavy punish. Does a left line. And now he feints his heavy. And then uh, he doesn't switch his guard at all, but like you don't you don't see his guard. You can even you can maximize you can maximize um your chances of hitting that light when you change your guard to the opposite side that you fainted the heavy from. So Easier said, you faint left heavy, you switch your guard right side, you switch your guard back left side, and you let attack. I think, I hope that was an accurate representation. Alright, so now he doesn't know what to do, so he zones out of neutral, right side light, unblockable. And it's dangerous to option select a Zerker with Noble because your option selects are not the fastest. And if he feints it into a heavy or light, there's a good chance that he will still hit you because he gets hyper armor. So, against the Zerker, you can, you can dodge. Like, if he heavy feints, if he heavy feints, right after you see him fainting, if you dodge... Um, by the time he feints another heavy into a guard break, you can counter guard break. So, and if he commits to the light attack, if he commits to the light, 
then you can guard break him. Or when you know he is a good player, then after he sees you dodge his line, he will expect you to guard break. So the next attack he will do, which is a heavy, because after the light he can only do a heavy or nothing, he will most likely let his heavy go to interrupt your guard break. But you can also dodge, wait for his heavy, and parry it. Or, you be, or you're really ballsy and you do a sidewinder. That's perfectly worth the trade, that's 25 for 32. Totally okay. He does the Zerker, sing, the Zerker thing again. That's a decent trade as well. And I think this we can take this in, as an example. Because he he dodges too late. Yeah. If if you dodge early enough when you see him fainting is heavy, um, you can avoid the guard break, or you do it, or you do a sidewinder. That was pretty unnecessary from the zerker. That was very risky, from the zerker as well. The the dodge forward, like both of these attacks, he can't faint them, and this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part, because watch how he opens again. Comes in, top heavy feint, top light, unblockable. Does his, the feints again, into left lights again. And now he doesn't know what to do. Starts zoning, right light. It's fantastic, it's, it's the, you can see the pattern that some people have. He gets the Cobra Strike. It's it's hard to be aggressive on a Zerker that is very close. It's it's very hard to space yourself against a Berserker that gets in your face. But especially, you can space yourself, especially after... I, I, I always take the, the window when you block a light to go into Hidden Stance and then to aggress on him. For example, right at the start, you can see how much space you create by blocking his light. And this is the space you can use to go into Hidden Stance against the Berserker. You can see there's enough space for you to go into Hidden Stance and he can't light attack you out of it. Um, he does a Viper's Retreat and then you see that the Berserker always forward dodges, which is a smart thing to do against the Nobu. And if you know that, um, you can try to do a, a Sidewinder. Like, after you hit the Viper's Retreat, you can try to do a Sidewinder right after. Um, but he does the, the Berserker thing again. He what he, done, what he does here is another spacing technique, you can call it. Um, I always do... I always do that against characters that have zones with tracking. For example, Kensei or Warlord. So you Hidden Stance. And out of the hidden stance, you press top light while walking backwards. So you, if you're in hidden stance, you walk backwards, like you hold, you hold backwards, and you press top light, and then you will do what he does here. Like it's not, because it will, like you will walk backwards and do the light attack, and your light attack will whiff, and then you can kick out of the light attack as well. Gets the kick. Very nice. He does the Zerker thing again. Jump attacks again, which was risky. Gets out of stamina here. And this is the time where he pre-dodges because he's a Muppet. <laughs> so yeah, after after you've done after you've you've done the this, you can also wait for your opponent to dodge forward again, and then you can kick out of the recovery. Or you can try the Viper's Retreat, which he did there, and then the Zerker gets the guard break on the on the back dodge. But yeah, very risky stuff from the Zerker as well. Pre dodges, wonderful, dead, perfect. The third round was pretty one sided thing. You can see the Zerker is he's smart, like he's running straight in front of her. Front dodges again. It was a really good light attack to interrupt his guard break. But I would... And he's also, he's 
he he's trying to parry. Like you can see the Zerker. What he's doing very well here is light attacks once, light attacks again, and then non mix up mix up into the kick. And by the time he hit he hit the the, the heavy attack, the Zerker was already way too triggered to think clearly, and then he lands the kick for free. And actually wins it. It's funny how many people sent me clips of them winning. Um, at least this is a three-two, so it's at least I can give more. I can give more feedback on it because he actually loses two rounds. And when people sent me three ones, like for example, I have this one. This is Kensei versus um, Jorman Gunder, and I've watched it like three times and all I can say is option select more that's like that's literally all I can say because he just he just wins 3-0 like I can't I can't say anything to it I think people just wanted me to you know say good job but we can watch it real quick because the only thing he does wrong is to not option select that's that's the only thing he does wrong <laughs> Alright, let's not watch it completely silently. He actually gets a really cool deflect in. <laughs> Fucking Yorm. I like I like the male the male Yorm. And he didn't wall splat him here, but like I don't know how far away that was, so. Easy option select. The Yorm actually went for it. And then he tried to light he tried to light attack the Yorm, I think, here. Where the Yorm always like light attacks. The Yorm often light attacks as a op as a open as an as an opener. Maya wins the first round. Gets a good parry. Gets a really cheeky light. And this is also a mistake that I can point out, is that the Kensei, Kensei's last, look at how slow, like how long it takes for the heavy to hit. Um, you can cancel it on reaction when you see your opponent not reacting. Like here, you can, you can cancel it. When you see your opponent is not doing anything, it's really risky to let that, that heavy fly. It is very hard. That was a necessary light attack because the Yorm could have punished his his recovery there. And the Yorm gambled. The Yorm also could have option selected that. But option select, option select. You can't option select these ones because he doesn't have stamina. Could have option selected that. He actually does kind of option select this one with a dodge attack, which is nice. And then Yorm goes for lights again. Doesn't parry the, doesn't parry the dodge attack, and then misses on the heavy parry, and that is basically it. So yeah, the only thing you can say is, hey, you can option select the unblockables, and yeah, cancel your third heavy in your chain. Yeah. We have many more to go. Many more. But I don't want this to be a one hour video. Or do I want it do I want it to be one hour video? <sighs> Alright, this I watched this Nabushi Mira. And there's nothing I can really say to it. Because if you have two Nabushi players and they both know what to do, if they both know what to do, then it's a matter of who's whoever is playing more passive. So, like, none of them did anything particularly wrong, like fundamentally wrong, other than, oh no, there's one. He could have sidewindered him here because he gets kicked. Or no, he doesn't get kicked, but... 
Oh yeah, and the other guy always faints out of, faints heavy out of hidden stands and does the Viper's Retreat. But he the guy kicks him and then he doesn't get the Sidewinder. He does it again here. Was it in the first round? I think it was in the first round. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get the light in. Good Sidewinder. Here he dodges, but he doesn't punish. And if you play against the good Nabushi, they will never do the light attack after the kick. They will only they will only do the light attack after the kick missed if you guard broke them. At least like twice. Like I I never follow up with my light attack after I miss my kick unless I know unless I know my opponent guard breaks me. If if my opponent doesn't guard break me like he he didn't do anything, then I will not follow it up. But you can safely, you can safely uh, sidewinder it or or cobra strike it, like the the dodge light or dodge heavy, either of them. But the rest was just um, nothing special. This one is a good one. Here I actually I actually know what to say, or actually I can I can say something because there is stuff that he does fundamentally wrong in this duel the you remember the valkyrie from the first from the first duel the centurion is the same story the centurion does not go for parries he does not go for anything other than unblockables the centurion he also always tries to be the aggressor like he has he does nothing on the defense other than blocking um, the only two times he goes for a parry is the two unblockables that the Zerker does. Um, I think he does one here. Heavy go, let's have you go, feints, and then, and then he went for it. Um, the other thing that the Zerker is not doing, because, like, y you can kind of tell from the first round that the centurion is not really going for any parries but it gets more clear in the later rounds as well um that he's not reacting to anything like he can every time he faints and heavy he's not doing anything so what i would do as a zerker is do the same thing that the other zerker did in the previous matchup is to do Heavy, heavy feint into lights. Heavy feints into lights. Or, what you can also do, because this Centurion is not reacting to heavies as well, you can let, let your heavies fly and then do light attacks like delayed delayed side lights or delayed top lights um, safely. And in the meantime, you get a lot of chip damage from all these heavies. You get a lot of chip damage. And I don't know if he option selected this unblockable because you can get a zone off a heavy parry with berserker but you have to wait pretty long after the after you parried their heavy until you can zone them because zerker has in like an automatic parry punish that if you press light or heavy i don't know what it is um that will do like a light attack as a punish so if you option select something as a berserker, it will automatically do the light. So what you can do, go into practice, get a bot to heavy attack you, and then you have to wait for like, I think it's a second. Like it feels very long. Like it feels like your opponent can already block you again, but he can't. Go to like a bot, heavy attack, parry him, and then wait, and then zone him and figure out the timing. But I don't know if he option selected him here. But like guard breaking out of neutral is not gonna help. He probably thought that it was not in range for that. He doesn't option select He option select he doesn't option select any unblockables, so I don't think he I don't think he option selected the one. Like it's five chip damage, seven chip damage. That is that is already 
12 damage from just the centurion blocking and especially if you if you factor in the follow-up lights that could hit may or may not hit um you can ship somebody you can ship somebody down pretty fast as zerker if they don't parry you if they don't parry anything if they don't react at all anywhere like just keep smacking heavies and lights just keep going keep going like he lets this one one heavy go which also does six tip damage which is nice but then he keeps fainting into guard breaks which does nothing because the centurion is not going for any parries like never so that is my that is the advice for this for this duel is to go for for more heavy feints into light attacks and to let more heavies fly against against people who don't parry them if people parry them then you can start fainting your heavies into guard breaks but this centurion is not reacting anywhere like he's he only reacts to the unblockables so and the centurion actually could have killed him here but he fucked the he messed up the parry he could have just stumped attacked him and then he like he panic dodged which is which is fine happens but yeah that is that is this duel what else do we got i think i watched quite a few i watched quite a few lawbringer versus raider did i watch this i mean there are also some there's some duels where it's just not it's not worth it to like some people sent me really weird stuff very good parry there i think he could have done the oh you saw him going for the parry there do you see that when he does the top but he knows he knows the raider likes to parry out of stamina does it again the question is yeah he goes for it that is definitely not the max punish as lawbringer i don't know if he knows but that is definitely not the max punish you can get i think you can get two heavies and a light attack as a lobbinger and here the only thing that the lobbinger has to do is to top light him basically whenever he sees an indicator he can top light him the raider rolls away i would faint a heavy now like i would do a light into heavy faint guard break Because you saw you saw the raider going for for the parries. And especially if he's if he's low enough that one light will kill him. As soon as you see him going for anything, you can top light him with Lobinger. It's very dangerous when you play against Lobinger and you're low. Raider gets one light. Okay. Cheeky. I don't know how worth it it is to go for the top unblockable feint. Ooh, he he thought about parrying it and then he did like last second parry, but still missed it. I'm not the I'm not a huge fan of lobbing or heavy attacking, like especially especially on range. When you're when you're pretty far away from a lobbinger, um. You can almost safely go for the parry because if he feints the heavy into a guard break, he's not actually in range to guard break you, which is weird. Um, so I would not let my heavies fly on range, but I think he just dies here. Yeah, he died. That is not a worth it trade. Raider goes for the goes for the heavy smack from top line. Smack top, again, again, again. Like, just do it again. Even if he blocked it twice, just just do it again. I do like you can do you can do this on on any character. Like just just, just keep keep lighting. Sometimes sometimes it's just it's just people don't expect it that you will just do light after light after light, and that just catches people off guard. I don't think he could have sprint attacked him here. Raider needs a lot of a lot of um, sprint time, and I think you can. Especially in ranked, in the ranked arena, 
if you parry a heavy with Lobinger, you can get the impale into the wall, into a top heavy, into a light attack, which is a lot of damage and way more than the little the little notch to the head. Um, so I would I would definitely do the impale. Top light, top light. Raider commits to the heavy again. And he's always parrying it, which is which is smart. Mm. There's not much a lawbinger can do on the offense. Ooh. Oh, he often selected. Nice. Nice. And he keeps he keeps getting hit by the by the cancel into the top into the into the bob. I always call it bob. Top light, top light, top light, top light. Just smack him, smack him. All right, nice. <laughs> uh, because in these in these duels, when they just win, there's just not much to give to to criticize. Um, yeah. What what can we what can we say after this one? Um, I would smack more top lights like neutral top lights and then I would start mixing up in more top heavy feints but I would smack more top lights but other than that I don't think I can say anything BP versus Valk did I watch this? I watched this. That's why I skipped. I skipped through it. I can smell. I can smell my chair burning in the sun. <laughs> I can smell it burning. It's it's more difficult with the BP against the Valk than with Nobu because BP doesn't have doesn't have a dodge attack. He's kind of trying to get a light attack in before she hits him. Like he's, he's. I think he's going for the superior light on on heavy timing, which is just a little little shy of of the shield bash hitting him. So, I would I would definitely dodge some more because so far I, so far she only heavied into nothing. There's the guard break, nice. Nice dodge. She didn't follow anything up. She goes for the... That was good from the Valk. Just like, she keeps going with the light attack. She keeps going, but like, at some point you have to stop. Delayed. Alright, fair enough. I'll be careful with my lights here. Sweep. She might faint into a guard break again. No, she just keeps going with the light attacks. That was risky, and he gets a good guard break. That was a close lucky guard break. I don't know if you can all guard. I think it's pretty worth it. You can you can guard break light attack. He's saying I didn't know you can GB my light. You can if it's early enough. Hmm. Gets a lot of lights in. There's the attempt for the superior light. The Valk just gets the Valk gets a lot of lights in. Like some of those, some of those sh at least should be parried. She goes for more shield bash. Tries the cheeky light. She tries it. Nice. He gets the guard break. And now he needs to be careful of the light attacks. Gets perfectly superior light in. That was really good. That was really good. He almost, <laughs> he almost died from that light from that light attack. He almost died from that. Gets that, and then he barely, he barely gets out of the shell bash. Is this another three one? It's a fucking three one. Oh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people just sent me three ones or three zeros. Um, 
where there's it's not much feedback you can give. Not much feedback. Some people sent me a lot of losses, which is nice. After I specifically said, hey, stop sending me wins. Um, but we watched some of those. All right. Anyway, let's 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 see. Let's not get this any further. Oh god, a lot of layers. Um, if tell me if you enjoyed it. Most importantly, tell me if you learned anything. If this was actually helpful, that's that's the most important thing. Was this actually helpful? If it was, we can do this again. I'm gonna do the other clips as well. And I also think a lot of people will send me more clips. So I will do one more and then depending on the feedback we can we can do this like weekly or once a month. Alright, I think that was it. Um I hope you all have a nice day. And I will see you in the next one.